So for everyone looking to try to trade futures, I know MT4 can be kind of confusing. It's got like a 1985 interface, but honestly, I've grown to love it. Um, I was talking today about some of these custom scripts. Obviously, I'm trading S&P 500. It's just a variation of SPX, ES, whatever. It's just the version they have. Just like on FTMO, they have US 500 cash. So if you want to add in these custom scripts, which can do a lot, and I really enjoy them and they make my trading a lot easier. The way you get to it is you can either go to this website right here and you want to make sure that you're going to MT4 because that's the, that's the platform we're using, not MT5. Uh, at the bottom, go to code base. If you're not going to go to that exact website, and just click on one of these random ones. It's going to bring the website up. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. This one's not available. Okay. Let's click on another one. Okay. This one's here. So, and like you see on the left, there's MT5, there's MT4. So you want to make sure you're on MT4. I don't really know. Draw a trade history on the chart. That's kind of cool, but let's look at some other stuff. Let's just pick a random one, um, one that makes sense. Uh, trailing function seems kind of cool. Not a lot of stars. You got to be careful with that. And then people leave reviews basically telling them if their code sucks or not. So, and this is just for like uh, demonstration purposes. So. I think this one's pretty cool. Yeah, this is a good one. I actually do have this one. So this one will visualize your risk to reward scenario in your trade based on your stop losses and take profits. So this one's a little bit more advanced in terms of like where you have to put in certain things or whatever. So for this, you would actually download the, I mean, you could download them one at a time or you could just download the entire zip. So let's just download the whole, zip, the whole zip file. Go to it. Gonna extract it. All right, now we have it. Now it tells you where to put each one of these. So first of all, we have to find where our program is at so that we know where to put this stuff, which I have right here. But I'll just give you the quick walkthrough. So first you go to your C drive, obviously. Then you want to go to your users. Click the user that you're using on this account. Go to app data. Roaming. Then you're going to click meta quotes. Terminal. The alphanumeric string, which represents your account. And this one will tell you where to put each of these scripts. So you for these two scripts, the ML MQL4, you would put them under, I guess I just click MQL4, include, include, and you would put, you would drag and drop FX weirdos that file right there. I already have it over here and you just drag and drop it. So then it would be in there. And as you can see, I do already have those in mine. I think I renamed it though. SET per trade. Yeah, I see. Okay. So it's really easy. Um, so you can either, like I said, go to that website right here, or you can just click on it through there. Um, if you don't on the iPhone, they deprecated the app. So you can't get MT4, MT5 on the app on the uh, iPhone store anymore, which sucks. It's still on Android, but they do have a browser version which is this link right here. 
trade.mql5.com slash train. You will need to make an MQL5 um, account, super easy. And then you just put in the same login that uh, my Forex fund gave you. So if you have any more questions, just let me know. I know it could be, forgot to mention that for all these scripts, instead of having to manually click on all of them, you can just right click and then set hotkeys. So that can expedite the process for these. We're also working on a webhook to send Apollo Algo signals over to here and potentially set up some trading bots on here. And um, I'm not sure how long that's gonna take because this is a different programming language, but it is in the works. So if you have any more questions, just let me know. And uh, I'm always glad to help.